contact center agents. What happens to contact center agents? So when you first log into contact center or you bring up your contact center communicator for the first time you're doing your contact center as an agent, what you'll find here in your short tail communicator is the following. You'll see a tab as a short tail contact center. It'll give you the status uh, surrounded by a red box, which currently tells you you're logged in of you're logged out of all groups. Um, and then also you can add a status bar or a, a toolbar called what we call this as a contact center toolbar. Contact center toolbar that we created that has features like resume, release, wrap codes, and the like. So as an agent, when I come to the beginning of the day, first thing I'm going to do, log in all groups. And now that I'm green. It shows everything green, log in all groups, I'm good to go. So any calls come in, they will pop up at the end of the day. When I'm ready to leave, I log out, and then my day is over. So for an agent to review, log in, so drop in, log in all groups. And at the end of the day, they log out of all groups. Okay. So you should stay logged in the entire day, but what happens if you need to walk away or the fact that uh, you get somebody walks up to your desk and you're not available to take that call? So what you can do here is, we'll just, is I can go into a release code. So if I drop down the contact center, you can see that it says release or resume. I can hit release. And what that will do is it turns me yellow. So my icon becomes yellow. So if anybody else was looking at me, especially the supervisor, it says contact center, I'm in release. Not only am I in release, but it's also counting down or counting up the number of seconds I'm in release. Okay, you also have the ability to, with the contact center, to build in what are we called release codes. Now, we have a button here called release with code. When I hit release with code, another little window pops up, and I can select which code that I want. So, for instance, if I'm taking a break, I click break, hit OK, and now it says release code 3, which means break. So, if I'm a supervisor who's looking at this, they're going to see, they're going to see that the status of this person is released in break mode and all I have to do when I come back to my desk is click on the resume button and I'm green and I'm available for all calls so now let me just coordinate this with what sort of potentially a supervisor will see okay so I have the contact center supervisor here there's my agent I'm idle currently 11 seconds and now I need to walk up and grab a drink of water I need to walk away from my desk I don't want to miss a call I can hit release or I can hit release with code and I'm going to choose the fact that I'm going to say it's a break, hit OK, and then when I hit OK, watch what happens to my status here. It actually shows me in release mode and tells whoever's monitoring me that I'm actually in a break. Okay. If I just hit resume, it goes away. And if I just hit release down here, it actually says no code, which means I haven't selected a code. So typically you'd want, you can see right here, David's in a meeting. Uh, so even though these agents are in San Diego and, and we're in Toronto, we have the ability to see the status real time. And I can see Panak here is currently on a call for 16 minutes. So what I'll do now is when I'm ready, I'll go back in, hit resume, and I take my call. So now I'm going to place a call into the queue and see what happens. Okay, here it goes. We've got a call. Call pops up. You can see that we've got information here we know it's a technical so or we know it's a queued call because of all this information it's the training demo service is coming into the training queue if i want to answer that i click answer and now i've got this call now i can put this call on hold pick it back up do whatever i would normally do with a regular call now when i'm done this call i'm going to hang up okay i'll first take it off hold and then I'm going to hang up. And immediately what you see is it puts me in what's called release mode or wrap mode. And so what this is asking me to do is please enter the wrap code or wait till the, you know, 20, 30, 40, 60 seconds of wrap time expires. And this gives you the ability to move on to the next call. So I'll just label this call, say it was a wrap code, and I'll say that uh, uh, I left a voicemail. Hit OK. End this wrap. And now I'm available for another call. Now, let's see what happens when I walk away from my desk and I don't properly put myself on busy. So what's going to happen is we're going to see this thing ring about 20 seconds. And at 20 seconds, it's going to realize, hey, he forgot to log out. It's going to stick it back into the queue. And I'll just put that on speaker when it does. Please 
stay on the line and we will assist you shortly. Okay, so now that calls back in the queue and I come back and I said, oh, I forgot to put myself in release and the supervisor that takes a look at it will see a code called forced release. Forced release is only a code that can be uh, created when you miss a call. So a call was presented to you and you did not answer it. So it's an easy indicator for a supervisor to say, hey, you didn't, you know, don't forget to put yourself on busy when you walk away. So now that there's a call in queue, as soon as I come back, I notice my mistake, I hit resume, and then I should be getting that call. So the call comes in. I answer it. Hang up. And the call is done. So I just put a wrap, I'll end my wrap up time. And now I'm available for the next call. And again, when it comes to the end of the day, all you li literally have to do is come back to the contact center screen here, hit uh, log out of all groups. And once I see the red, it means I'm logged out. And as a supervisor will see as well, I go to log out. So no longer am I logged into the contact center. And that's it.